I'm going to use Macaulay Shop Account, which is activity 3.1 in your book. I think it starts probably about page 59. And we're going to use this to plot the sales made by Macaulay Extras against the telephone cost to determine if a correlation exists. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this machine working very slowly folks so just be patient with me. I'm going to highlight the total sales. I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to highlight telephone. Then what we're going to do in the insert tab Again, it's taking a while, so just, just be patient. Machine's running very slowly. I'm going to insert a scatter diagram. And I'm going to choose the scatter with only markers. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, we're just waiting for this very, very slow machine. Okay, here we are. And you can actually see right away that there isn't a huge linear relationship here. It's not too bad, but there's there's not a straight line here at all. So to make that clearer though, what we're going to do is we're going to choose layout nine here because it has a header a horizontal axis, vertical axis, and it actually has a legend which we don't need, but we'll delete that later. And it will it will put in the calculation that we need. Let's take a minute and name your chart correctly, please, would you? So our chart title is telephone costs. Our vertical axis is also telephone costs our horizontal axis is sales okay we actually don't need these so I'm just going to delete them I have a very clear chart here we could format it in a different way if we liked um, I quite like these, so I'm going to just try this here. Mm -hmm. And instead of having it in the same sheet, I'm going to put it in a sheet in its own. So I'm going to just click on, <coughs> excuse me, move chart, new sheet. And why don't I, I just call that, that sheet telephone costs scatter and say OK. Again, we have to wait just for this coming out here. While we're doing that, let's talk about this sheet. OK, R squared is 0 0.86. Which is not bad, but if you remember the nearer the figures are to 1 or minus 1, <coughs> the stronger the relationship, the stronger the correlation. And you can see the line going up here and you can see where there is no relationship. It's still not a bad relationship, but it's, it's not great. It's a very kind of upward trend, upward linear here, upward linear movement. And that's all we have to do for that.